Hello, hello everybody, it's Work Prof Chop and we're back again with more VTuber drama. The Niji Minds go even deeper. This is how this creep just shook the VTubing industry to its core. Niji Sanji X Yab incident. Let's see it. What well, happened guys, this Niji time? Sanji is in trouble oh my yet God. again, but it's not what you think. Huh? This involves fresh news from Japan Jesus, that doesn't minus just 30%. concern Niji Sanji, but the VTubing industry as a whole. Oh. It's about this music producer, yep. a this? pervert of the weirdest kind, hey, who had produced a huge number of Niji Sanji songs with their VTubers. Okay. A whistleblower working for him leaked the fact that he not only doxed some of Niji Sanji's hey, top yo. talent when they visited him in the studio snapping pictures of their faces, but then he made fun of them while sharing them to other people. Bro, that's I crazy. Wish things ended here, but no, this guy is next level creepy. More? This dude would dig through the trash in his studio to find tissues used by VTuber talents so that he could share them with his friends. But that's not even the worst act. What the hell do they do with the Accusation here. There are images of him spiking a drink with a Inja. substance before handing oh. it to a VTuber, and that substance has already been classified by the Japanese government as dangerous. It is completely is going illegal on? to use and distribute on Japanese soil. The VTubing industry is imploding, and Japanese what? internet is absolutely losing its mind. So buckle up. This is going to be a right. rough one. Okay, Let's I thought this was going to be a cutie. So yeah, Niji. I always show this in Niji Sanji Niji videos. Sec. The parent company of Niji Sanji, Any Color, has been having a rough time with its stock price. And I mean, there's no surprise over this. This Damn. year has been really rough on its public Minus relations 30%. management. That's crazy, Their reputation bro. is an absolute shambles, especially globally. This right here is when things started to really take a nosedive That's and the continued situation. downwards as they were wrestling with the fact that one of their most beloved English talents tried to Damn. end her existence on this planet yes. twice, I mean, blaming been, the company's it's been raising here a little bit. internal toxic And now it's probably going down culture. worse, huh? However, what a lot of people don't talk about is their financials. All right, I finally oh, get God. to use my master's degree for something. This right here is the balance sheet of Niji Sanji's parent company, Anycom. Oh, God, this what are we looking at, brother? every single aspect of a company's financials. How okay. much money they owe, the value of their buildings, their assets, how much it uh -huh. costs to run the company's operations, pretty much everything. If we scroll down to the end of the balance sheet, we see yeah. the one stat that matters the most. Net profit. Net profit. This is how much a company has made after all the taxes they owe, the debt. I mean, it's still positive, so that's good. There's a lot of companies that don't make a profit. You'd be Any surprised. Any the stuff that they have to pay off. A company can have high revenue, but a negative net profit. That means that their costs yeah. outweigh how much money they're making. But here, not only is it positive, but for the period of January to April, they made more money in 2024 than they did in 2023. Yeah, and it's a noticeable positive difference. And you might be confused, I mean, wondering... How no, I'm not confused at all. It makes sense, right? Niji Sanji supporting their own VTubers. Mm, like, what's like $6? So obviously they're going to have a net positive. How? Well, it's simple. It's a one-word <laughs> answer. Japan. VTubing oh, started in Japan? Japan, and it's still the main part of the world where it's consumed. Makes and sense. you know what? Japan actually still likes Niji Sanji. In fact, without Japan, they would go bankrupt. They would not exist anymore. Mm. This is why. When one of, if not the biggest drama YouTuber in Japan made this drama tweet right here, it was an extremely 26 big deal. million views! Brother, that is the population of Bulgaria X. Like four something, maybe five. You can see 26 <laughs> million views, a lot of attention on this post. Here's what the drama YouTuber by the name of Kore Kore had to say. Kore Kore. We will report violations committed by those involved with the VTuber agency Niji Sanji. The damage mainly involved secretly recording the VTubers mm. who operate while hiding their faces while they are at work and disseminating the footage to third parties. I don't like he that also word. also sends her messages making fun of her appearance. That's crazy. Yeah, this is badly translated. The creep pretty much was taking pictures of these VTubers without That's them knowing crazy. and then sending them to his friends to make fun of their appearances. Wait, Terrible. how the hell did they catch him then? Must be one of his friends that was like, yo, bro, you're too much of a weirdo now. Stop. And then continues, the mere existence of people like this in this industry will only increase the number of victims and since the VTuber herself is unaware that she is being Wait, sexually she filmed, know? at the whistleblower's request, 
The footage will be made public on a live broadcast at 10.30 p.m. on Sunday, September 1st. And as God you can damn. see, there are images attached here of those victims with blurred faces, of course, showing some of the messages that were sent here to this person's friends. For Come Japan, on. this is one of the biggest scandals you can imagine. Not only was this tweet implying that Nijisanji's internal staff was behind this, this was also threatening Nijisanji's reputation in their home turf on <laughs> Nijisanji's reputation Japanese bro. soil. But to really understand the gravity of the situation, <laughs> you have to understand the fact that the VTB I'm industry sorry, in I'm Japan sorry. has very specific taboos. Okay. And this mostly revolves around the idea that a VTuber's privacy oh, is God. sacred like a religion. They're genuinely seen as virtual Bro, beings, so many and people. to break that immersion is a sin of the highest level. So Nijisanji was being accused of committing the biggest crime conceivable against their own talent. As you can see, that's a massive Wait. accusation. Okay, I got a question. How's the penguin doing? I like the penguin a lot. I haven't seen the penguin in a while. How's the penguin doing, okay? Because if it Somebody were let me true, know. they Please. can kiss their business in Japan goodbye. And it was what Korekore Kore was implying in his tweet that Nijisanji's staff was doing this. Everyone waited with bated breath for this live stream to start, with over 10,000 people waiting and over 150,000 concurrent viewers watching oh, it while it was being streamed. Why does it have so many streamed. thumbs down? It almost has a million views and half the world is barely God, still damn. waking up. While many were concerned about Nijisanji having a hand in this, they were mostly Sheesh. concerned about the safety of their favorite VTubers, their favorite idols. That's what mattered the most. The live stream was three hours long, but God don't damn. worry, he didn't just cover this, he covered multiple news stories. The segment we're interested in More is about drama. 30 to 40 minutes, so I'm going to sum it up for you. Here we go. Please he do. starts off by giving context. This is about a mixer, right? Otherwise known as a music producer in the okay, West. Okay. And these are some of the things Fairy that he tale. worked on with Nijisanji from the period of 2020 to 2024. These are some very highly viewed music videos. Okay. And he was the composer behind that music. We're talking tens of millions of views. So Damn. it's a very big deal. This information mm. was provided to him by a whistleblower who works at the studio owned by the person who is guilty in all this. A music producer by yep. the name of Yab. This is his Twitter profile, and as we've seen in the <laughs> beginning of the video, this is what this creep looks like right here. This is one of the many pictures he took of talents that came to his studio. As you can Wait, see, they're in front of- Is that the studio? I was expecting for something a bit more professional. Like, I've seen rappers in studios, and that looks a lot- more than this the what the hell is this and these are messages Looks like a couch Yab one of those uh, casting couch things third parties sending pictures of Jesus. that person in the studio and hey, commenting on their looks sometimes saying things that are very inappropriate one example of the things he said while sending pictures of these vtubers to his friends uh -huh. was her face is 60 points, but her body is 100 Bro. points. Yeah, they weren't wholesome messages. <laughs> hey, They're listen, we've all, we've all done this, but you usually, I don't know. I mean, it's creepy when you're doing it to people you work with and people you're not supposed to. Oh, There's a weird. worrying amount of these pictures of many different talents in many different poses and so many messages different commenting poses? on them what and their mean? looks. Hey, yo? Some of these pictures are more sexually suggestive as well, with a talent here laying down on the couch thinking they're comfortable and safe and him completely violating their privacy. But one of the craziest accusations oh, God, of this creep is the use of a substance called oh, Red no, it's Spider putting it Red in the drinks spider. of some VTubers that would be in his studio. Now, what the hell is a red spider? Yeah, are we talking asking. about a red spider lily, or are we talking about an actual red spider, the Ooh. arachnid? What the hell? Keep the shit out of cream, god damn it. What was that? Why is that so thick? That was a thick boy, god damn, spider. When you translate doing, the right? substance itself from Japanese to English, you get red spider, but in Japanese it's spelled benigumo. It's actually forbidden by the Ministry of Health, Labor and Welfare of uh -huh. Japan to be even used or distributed in the country. This is from a broader decision made back in August of 2008, where they made multiple substances illegal and Red Spider aka Benigumo is the Benigumo? first one on Sounds this kind of cute. list. And I would have never found this list if it wasn't for Ryuku Sensei. He helped me try to track down what the hell a red spider was because I was so damn confused. W Sensei? So massive thanks to him and his amazing Japanese fluency. Please go check him out. 
Here's the page translated. As you can see, it translates to red spider. And it comes in two different forms, capsules and liquid. They have different pharmaceutical ingredients based on their form. So in terms of capsules, it's seldenafil. And in terms of liquid, it's clozapine. Red spider will have a very mean? unique effect on women when taken in capsule form when it has sildenafil in it. It will increase the blood flow to the genitals, which may help increase sensitivity, arousal, and orgasmic function. I have to censor these words, hey, otherwise I'll get age restricted. The effectiveness has mixed results, but people believe that it's some sort of an aphrodisiac for women. Uh. Now, this is where things get worrying. We're not sure which version Actual of drugs. red spider he actually used. But since he snuck it in a drink, it's most likely that he used the liquid version, which has clozapine in it. Unlike which sildenafil, is? clozapine is actually a psychiatric medication. Hey, bro. It's primarily used to treat people with schizophrenia. This is extremely worrying news, especially since this it's medication... It's also used to treat me with psychosis and Parkinson's disease. So it must of be some strong shit. ...side effects. Anything from constipation to fever to nausea, seizures, dizziness, Bloating? fainting, rash, sleepiness, bloating, the list I, goes listen, on. That's pretty much anything you think has like a thousand of these things that could happen. But yeah, it and must be strong. And even more worrying, this is one of the products that are theorized to have been used by him called Red Spider, imported from Spain. I don't know how I he got the customs, but it's clearly not really cheap. But the most unsettling Wait, how much thing is that? about this is... How much is that in normal people money? Is the I'm sorry. <laughs> description. <laughs> Red Spider huh? is a colorless and tasteless liquid aphrodisiac that dissolves well in beverages and alcohol. It takes okay. effect within 30, 30 minutes, minutes of a woman, woman ingesting. Right. So what was this creep's great plan? He's going to give this to one of the VTubers. They're going to, uh, their blood's going to stop pulling in their loins. And they're going to be like, oh my God, yap son, take me. Like, brother, what the fuck? Yeah. Come they on, feel man. itchy and narrowed in the vagina, a large amount of secretions flow, and they start to desire sex. Guys, I don't know about you, but this is like reading the description of a date rape drug it, or something uh, yeah. used to roofie someone. Imagine how I mean, it feels to be someone invited to his studio to record a song, not, and he offered you a drink, you drank it. I don't it, want my vagina to get narrowed out. And now you have to up. think, wait, did my nausea and my feeling of sickness the next day come because of this? This isn't about being a creep anymore. This is a well, crime. Well, still a creep. This is criminal. Yes, this there should be criminal. There he was taking pictures of it like it's just a recreational activity, like he's just having fun. It doesn't even end here, though. Why does he not even have a table? The tissues that would what use in his studio this? to blow their nose or something would be picked back up by him okay. in the trash, and he would try to get... Okay, I need an explanation for this. I, I, what the fuck are you even doing with that shit? Give them to I, his I friends. What are you doing? And so you got to ask the question, how come it took four years of working with this guy God and a damn. drama youtuber for niji sanji to finally understand what's going on i mean has there really been no one complaining about this guy's behavior really zero people i mean if he's only taking pictures like hidden pictures how would you even know that's the thing how would you know i find you know? that hard to believe and so do many other people Look, here's an example of some of the songs that many talents worked on with Yab. As I mentioned, these are songs that have gotten tens of millions of views yab, over yab, the course yab, of these I last few lab, years, yab. and these talents have had to go to that studio to record. This means Bro, that potentially every times. single one of these people is in the danger of having had their privacy completely breached by this weirdo. This is why things moved very quickly, and many of these videos started getting private. Hey, this too. right here is the Twitter page of Yab Entertainment. The uh -huh. studio founded by Yab, the pervert. Zero following. Here is their website, and if we scroll down, we can see him right here. This is the guy, that the absolute the guy? weirdo that's been doing all this. And if we scroll down to Warwick, <laughs> as you can see, most of the music Oof. he has produced, most of the music videos that involve the music have been privated Damn. by their agencies, most notably Niji Sanji. This is a more complete list, and it shows you that they were very quick with this. As soon as these news broke out from... Hey, they've worked with a lot of people by the looks of this. Holy Corey, Corey. shit. They did not take a second to reflect. Everything has been privated. One of the first VTubers to address this was Fuaminato, a massive Japanese Nijisanji VTuber. Uh -huh. His tweet of almost 2 million views said this, I'm sure you're feeling anxious and sad because so many things have become private. I feel the same way. So let's wait and believe. This is a big deal. There are people who listen to these songs every single day on YouTube and on Spotify and whatever, and all of a sudden Wait, they're being removed. Are these songs on Spotify? I'm curious. Now I have a Spotify. Imagine having your favorite songs get taken down from the internet. All of a sudden you had this insane mounting pressure on yeah, Yab to not only talk about this, so what but happened? to apologize. Come on. But well, interestingly enough... Okay, how do you apologize for this? I mean, if, if they prove this, he must go to prison, right? Like, he must. He's just been... He's been... Uh, 
throwing drugs at people, basically. <laughs> not even people. joking. This was his profile and his followers before the live stream. Uh -huh. This is his profile after Wait, the he live got stream. more Dude followers. 2,000 followers for being a creep weirdo. <laughs> and he unfollowed like 30 people. I don't know how this makes any sense. Maybe people are just following to see what he has to say, but... <laughs> okay, listen, there's a lot of creeps out there. Let's be honest. There's a lot of them, so... Uh, yeah. Another interesting fact that you probably could have lived your entire life without knowing oh, is the God. fact that this weirdo is married with children. Hey. Some people scrolled back to see Yo. the fact that, yes, indeed, he did propose to his wife and they've been married for years now. God knows what she's going through. Oh, Regardless, though, brother. things were starting to get dangerous. Brother, there was an increasing brother, number of brother. people who were trying to make the connection between the VTubers who had done a song with Yab and the ones who could have been victims. And by doing so, they were invading their privacy even further by asking them these questions in their live streams, in their comments, etc. At the same time, this wasn't just about one person anymore. This wasn't just about Yab. It was about people surrounding him as a whole because he wasn't the Thanks only person Rizzo. participating in this behavior. God and this damn. tweet right here echoes this, saying this is an issue that shouldn't be left unattended without thoroughly investigating yes. not only Yab, but Truth. also the surrounding areas, right? True. Sexual voyeurism laced with aphrodisiacs is just so damn shady. This isn't just a Nijisanji thing. There are probably a ton of victims. And I do tend to agree with this statement. You know, he had a bunch of friends he was sharing this with. Who were they? Were they in the industry? Were they his personal friends? There's and we need to find out who the hero is that saved these people. I mean, save is like, you know, but a lot more somebody to this than just uncover one this. Who are you but hero? As the Japanese internet, especially Any on color. Twitter, was on complete oh, shit, fire, <laughs> asking for answers and doubting the fact that, hey, maybe this isn't just an isolated oh, case. Brother. Maybe all mixers are weird, you know? What? Nijisanji came out with that? a statement on the same day this happened. This entire statement was posted at 2 a.m. Japanese time. So someone clearly didn't sleep that night. Here's what they had to say. Reporting on infringement rights of our affiliated live streamers by external creators. Uh... Thank you very much for your continued support of the virtual live groups Nijisanji and Nijisanji EN. On September 1st, 2024, an accusation was made that an external musician, here and after referred to as the subject, had secretly photographed the okay, appearance okay, of an individual okay. who is said to be a live streamer affiliated with our company during an external influencer's YouTube broadcast, here and after referred to as the broadcast, and that the photograph was then sent to a third party without permission in a form that included defamatory language. There were also suspicions that the target... Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Et cetera, but it looks like, listen, with these types of messages, you don't read this whole shit. You read this. You read the last one. This whole is like PR talk. Oh, we found some shit happened. Oh, thank you all for being with us. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Basically, they're saying that they might uh, press charges with and they'll and investigate. Are affiliated, including but the, yeah, the company and the target. The company will also take legal action against it's the target lot, for lot, breach of confidentiality talk. obligations, violation of privacy rights, defamation and reputation, and violation of other rights. Yeah, that's the so important these last part. two paragraphs weren't translated very well, but in essence, they're suing him. They're suing the hell out of him. Well, they'll try and sue him. They continue. We will provide adequate oh support to our affiliated God. live streamers who have concerns about this matter and will aim to resolve this matter as quickly as possible. Additionally, in order to prevent secondary damage, we ask that you strictly uh. refrain from spreading any- Bro, it's on the internet. It's already- <laughs> damage is already done. <laughs> you ain't preventing shit anymore. If it reaches the internet, if- People want to see it. It's it's done, brother. It's gone. Any photos or information about this matter, or posting mocking comments about this matter to our affiliated live streamers on social yeah, media with that, comment brother. functions during live streams. In addition, regarding this case, there have been occasional voices on the internet alleging that our affiliated live streamers, managers of our affiliated live streamers, and other officers and employees oh. may have committed the crime. But we are not aware of any evidence to support this claim that our affiliated live streamers or our officers and employees were involved in the acts of abuse. Okay, so they're trying to take, throw all the guilt on Yab. Use in this Makes case. sense. So I think officers is just a badly translated managers, but they're saying we didn't do anything. They continue by saying, please refrain from assuming that this incident was committed by a live streamer or employee of our company so and spreading the false information. Like we are considering preserving evidence and taking legal action against these malicious acts. So if you're going to spread false info, you're going to get sued, is what- They're not going to do anything to you. They cannot. People have tried before. Way more powerful people than them. Uh, free shit on the internet. You can spread whatever the hell They're you want. They're saying, pretty much. In addition, as They're content such as cover songs in which the target was involved, and social media posts by live streamers affiliated with our company who are presumed to have received songs provided by the target uh -huh. could be used as a starting point to pry into the victim in this case. We have temporarily made the content private and deleted. That's probably not gonna help anybody because people know what happened. It's not like Erdogan 
It's not, well, I'm sorry, I just saw that. It's probably, like a lot of these people are famous. It's not like you're talking about somebody with 200 views. Like people know what happened. Deleted people know what posts. was uh We ask that you immediately private. delete the content that has been made private and the list of deleted posts as publishing them on the internet, such as on social media, will lead to secondary victimization of the victim yeah, in this good luck. case. So here people. they're saying that they will be taking down anything that yeah. has any affiliation with the app. All to stop I don't know if the they'll be able to do that about though. who the victims are and harassing them further. They then end this by saying, we recognize that something like this should never happen again and uh -huh. that it should never be tolerated. True. In order to protect the physical mental health of our affiliate How are you do that streamers shit? and allow them to continue their activities with peace of mind, we will make further efforts to improve the working environment for our affiliated live streamers, including reviewing the... You might actually start doing something as a company that's supposed to take care of their VTubers. Holy shit, Niji. What the hell? Selection of creators to whom we order and the criteria oh, sorry, for sorry. continued orders. So if Niji Sanji is to be believed, they'll be reviewing everyone they've been working with up until this point to make sure this never happens How again. are you going to do that? In the replies, they have a link to their website with the same text we just read and another tweet they made 15 hours ago on September uh -huh. 2nd, 7 a.m. European time, where they clarify yet again why the cover songs got taken down, citing the same reason that, hey, listen, we're doing this for the sake of our live streamers. We don't want them to get more harassment and that they That's really just help don't anything. want to tolerate any content done by Yam. They understand the songs hold a lot of significance and they will try their best to figure out a solution that will satisfy everyone. But for now, you are not allowed to even re-upload this. So this is them doubling down mm. on the stance. Now, Any Color's response was mixed. There were a lot of people praising them for being so quick with their response. But at the same time, there were some people Yeah, at this who, point, they're experienced, bro. They've been in the trenches for years. <laughs> really didn't like the idea uh, they've of been having in the, the mines for years. being taken down and the drama others mines. wondering Why did it take four years for you to reach this conclusion? And what kind of investigation did you do on August 30th that you could have done way earlier? Maybe this it wasn't a creepy the entire that. VTubing industry, including the VTubers themselves, of course. This big Japanese Nijisanji VTuber, for example, is taking Guello? a break due to this. And he's not the only one. Mm. As people were still trying to process the gravity oh, of the situation, Yab. Yab finally comes out with a statement in less than 24 hours from Kore Kore's stream. It hasn't even been 24 hours since the post came out and it already has 10 God damn, million, 10 million? Views. The caption reads, we are very sorry Eesh. for the inconvenience caused and the main statement is in an image in Japanese. Let's translate it and read it. It says, I, Yab, would like to sincerely apologize for the discomfort and displeasure caused to many people by the problematic comments and videos about the I drugs, made in the past online. Line is a very popular messaging app in Japan and just Asia mm. in general. Think of it like WhatsApp. He then continues, I deeply regret that my thoughtless actions have caused this situation. We would like to once again apologize for any inconvenience caused to you. We take this matter seriously and will respond sincerely. I am very sorry. That's it. So to say that this apology was Bruh. lackluster and underwhelming is of course an drugs, understatement. Though? The only thing to come out of this is just confirming 100% that all yeah, the allegations are true. This was his side of the story. This was his chance to speak up and he didn't deny anything. I mean, he didn't mention the drugs, which is probably the main legal thing you can take the court about but i don't think I imagine... you can find a single person who was satisfied with this apology it's like you handing in an assignment to your teacher with the minimum word count required with no hey, additional effort. that's what that's i what always did feels like <laughs> look the vtubing industry in particular the japanese <laughs> side is still in shock right now And bear in mind, Yab didn't just work with VTubers, he worked with idols and all sorts of people. So this is a nationwide issue at this point. Many Damn. are hoping that the police could do something, but even the Japanese don't have very high hopes in regards to their own police. Really? But Sheesh. at least Niji Sanji is going to pursue him in multiple legal avenues. So let's just... I mean, is that gonna come something? Hopefully, but... Hope he gets what he deserves. Yeah. Criminal prosecution aside, though, Niji Sanji have to definitely do better at examining who they work with. They worked with this guy for four years. Yeah, but he it doesn't... Uh, he might have not been a creep for like two and a half years and then be like, hey, maybe I should start doing some shit. Like that bitch looking like she got fat ass. I want to see that ass closer or some shit. I don't the only know. reason they knew about it was because of you a know? drama YouTuber. This could have gone on for another four years. And I hope that True. they can Even actually more, support the VTubers, not just tweet about it, but actually be able to do it. 
I want to believe that's true. Niji, come but on, I'm actually skeptical, especially over what they've done this year, what's been revealed about how they handled the global no, brother. Hopefully this guy, Yab, also gets what's coming to him because yeah. what he's done has been disgusting. The point these are only the things that the whistleblower knew about. Imagine the things we don't know that's about. That's also true. Let's see what happens. I'll keep a close eye on this, and if anything major happens, I'll update you. But thank you so much for watching, as always, cursor. especially if you watched... I am touching my cursor to his cursor. Till the end, I love you so much, and I'll see you in the next video whenever that is. That was definitely not weird, okay? Sometimes homies touch cursors. <laughs> y'all better touch my cursor with your cursor, okay? Anyway, let me know what y'all think. Uh, were you listening to some of the covers that got privated? What do you think? Have you heard about Yab? What do you think about this whole drama? Let me know in the comments, and I'll see y'all next time, okay? Like, comment, subscribe, and have a good day, everybody. Bye-bye.